Today I will show you how to create this amazing time freeze effect and we starting right now. If you guys are new to the channel then welcome, you can call me Eric. Now to create this effect I shot a clip of my friend Phil on a tripod. Made my friend throw his watch in the air and then act like he's waiting for something. Before he smash his arm to that side where he throw his watch and stop in the middle. Then I grabbed his watch from the floor and flung it around his wrist and let him finish the arm movement. Now this is shot in 1080p 100 frames per second. If your camera is able to shoot more frames per second then go with it, you will see why in a second. Bringing this into Final Cut Pro I search for the point where the watch is in the air and press M to create a marker. Search for the end of the effect and create a marker again. Then I search for the point where he wears his watch and the arm is moving again and then delete the unused footage of me grabbing his watch. Then I copied the first clip and overlaid it on top. Crop it to the marker where the watch starts to fly. Now search for the point in the clip where the watch is in the same height as his arm and cut it right there. Slow the footage down till it matches the point where we want the effect to stop. Now we use a draw mask to draw around the watch so the watch is the only slowed part. Now the watch stays pretty much still but you can see the watch falling from the original clip below. Now I hit the keyframe button on position, scale, rotation and most important control points. Now I adjust the control points to hide the original watch and adjust the position of the mask to keep up with our slowly falling watch. When this is finished you will recognize that the movement of the falling watch is choppy and not smooth at all. This is because we slowed down the footage way too much. To fix this click on this little icon right here and change the video quality to optical flow. Now this will force Final Cut Pro to create new frames in our slowed down clip to keep it smooth. When this is done I create a compound clip out of all clips then search for the catching part and speed this up a little bit to make it look a bit more realistic. Finally I use an adjustment layer and smash a lot out of my LUT pack on top. To make it look less steady I use truly handheld effect from my friend the Final Cut Bro. If you guys interested in his stuff the link is in the description. Now as I said before my name is Eric, I do Final Cut Pro tutorials and I have a lot of free plugins so check out all my other videos. If you guys haven't already smash the sub button down there right now and follow me on Instagram lifted underline Eric. Thanks for watching, see you guys in the next one.